This woman is about to start her workday alone. There is no one else working in her store. The stabbing death of 24-year-old Brianna Cooper is shaking a lot of salespeople, like Miriam, who does not want her last name used. I don't feel safe anymore. Like Brianna, Miriam works in a furniture store in L.A., in her case, Hollywood Glam, which she owns. It's just a few blocks from Croft House, where Brianna was found slain. Like Brianna, Miriam is usually there by herself and says she understands the risks of being the only person in the store. Sometimes I'm here until 7, 8 p.m. on my own. So I'm installing a buzzer at the store and um, I'm honestly thinking of moving to Florida. In the age of COVID, many people are calling in sick. There's also the impact of the great resignation movement and jobs are going begging. So in these challenging times, it's not unusual to find many stores staffed by just one salesperson. Honestly, no one wants to work. It's been really, really hard to hire people. Across the nation at this boutique in Scarsdale, New York, Inside Edition security consultant Steve Cardian says salespeople need to take steps to ensure their safety, especially when working alone. Pepper spray, OC spray that you can keep in your pocket or keep back there. That's a great deterrent. Would you recommend that they have an alarm and a panic button, maybe something behind the counter? The areas that you spend the most time it's a good idea to have a panic button. And if you have a restroom here, get a security bar. If something does happen, you can run in there. He says keep the door locked, which allows you to know who's coming in. If you get that really, really guttural feeling that something's wrong, walk out of the store, dial 911 on the sidewalk. Back in LA, friends of Brianna Cooper gathered last night for a memorial service in front of the store where she was killed.